thing to make him mad? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think I'd remember if I'd ever done anything to the boogeyman. Okay, Francis. Okay. Well, are you saying because you're imaginary that, that you can't ever die? I never have. Well, so what, you never get old? You just stay young forever like ooh, Peter Pan? Our friends grow up. Then they don't need us anymore. So we go find new friends. Making new friends keeps you young, just like aerobics, tabo, tachi, all that good stuff. Well, then why didn't you get a new friend when Darwin stopped believing in you? Because Darwin still needed me. Well, what is this thing anyway? Tentrifuge. Oh. How does it work? Assuming it works. Oh, it's so simple, a child couldn't understand it. In fact, a grown-up couldn't understand it at all. All right, if you spin the clock clockwise at the right RPM, it creates what you call a temporal fugitation impulse. You take the fugitation impulse and you amplify it with these magnetic fields, and then the speaker sends it through the vacuum chamber. Well, that's Dan's vacuum cleaner. Your dad does the vacuuming? Yeah, he likes to do the housework. This is starting to get unbelievable. Anyways, after resonating the vacuum chamber, the impulses go through these jumper cables and right into the boogeyman. And? A boogeyman's got a very tightly wound biological clock. That's why they only bother you when you're a little kid. By the time you grow up, the boogeyman is tied and retired. No, no, no. Then why is he bothering me now? That's a very good question, Frank. <laughs> 